Welcome to What's Your Story. We're so glad to have you join us today. We have two exciting guests, which is really wonderful. And I think you're going to enjoy this, especially because they are doing something that many of us have wanted to do. Isn't that true? Absolutely. So Patty and Dan Hunt, we're so thrilled to have you. Thank you for being here. And your company, or is it a company? I know it's a YouTube channel. It's called Exploring Through Our Lens. Right. right. So, so we have our own production company. Yeah. But you know everything that we're doing, we're not really doing outside work right now. We're only working with Exploring Through Our Lens and producing video for that. Yes, and what kind of video is it? Okay, so <laughs> we are traveling around the country in our RV and just showing people the cool things, cool people, places, and things there are to see in this country. Yeah, and I understand you just sold off everything you had and decided, okay, we're going to go get in this RV and travel the world, yes. right? That you was know, his idea. <laughs> there, were, there was a day I, I was working on a network television show, and the network called and said, you're done. It's over. We're going to pull the plug until COVID's over. So this goes back a couple mm -hmm, years ago. Mm -hmm. So I took a couple days, and I put a plan together, and I sat Patty down in my <laughs> office, and I said, you know what? Let's sell everything, buy an RV, and live on the road from now on. After I was done laughing, <laughs> I realized he was serious, uh -huh. and I uh -huh. said, okay. And, and, and then the conversation started, what were we going to do? Yeah. What was the point in doing it? And that's how we got to, you know, being able to travel and really show people what's out there because our mission is to inspire people to live life fully. Yes. Yes. Your mission has always been that since I've known you. Absolutely. You're, you're both professional speakers and, and motivators and encouraging people. And I've been in your home, so I know what kind of a home you lived in. So now I want to know <laughs> how big is this RV or is it? Not that big. I mean, what's it's the deal? Well, as far as RVs go, it's one of the bigger. So it's a 40-foot Class A. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 2002 Monaco. And Monaco was the king of RVs back in that time. Yeah. So it's, it's a very high-end RV. But it's still only 40 foot from one end to the other. So there's... there's That's smaller than your living room was. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Probably about 350 square feet total. Oh, my goodness. That's like living in a tiny home. <laughs> it, it, it is like living in a tiny home. So, so was there... Um, a process, Patty, that you had to go through in determining that, okay, we're going to go live in this RV full-time? Did you have to think about this? Or? A, a <laughs> lot of questions, a lot of thinking about it, a lot of looking at videos on YouTube. What would this look like? How would we do this? Now, we have nine grandkids, and they're on both coasts, mm. the East Coast and the West Coast, and the idea of being able to see them. And again, just inspiring people, being able to get there, get out there and just finding the cool yeah. little places and, you know, just showing people what's there. And you're videotaping these cool places. Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. One of the things that we're doing, and again, my, my background is television and radio uh -huh. and I'm right. a director and a producer. So we're shooting everything with the idea of an experience. Mm -hmm. We want our viewer to experience what we're experiencing. So we're not just, well, we're here at Disneyland. No, yeah. we're kind of like, okay, let's walk into Disneyland together. So it's, it's you know, that's the way and the thought process behind. Do you take them on the roller coaster with we do. you? <laughs> we, we, we do. <laughs> Haven't done that yet. <laughs> but the hot air balloon in Albuquerque, uh -huh. we take them with us. So like my mother who's up there in age and can no longer travel, she said, I feel like I'm there with you. She That's said, I right. get to experience things I've not, I'm not, never going to be right. able to experience. So yeah. that's. And that's okay. wonderful, you know, to be able to share that that with people. I think that's absolutely wonderful. So why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? <laughs> you know, for, for us, I think it was just the next logical progression. Um, because we couldn't work. When COVID first started, there was no television, there was no movies, everything was shut down. Um, one of the shows that I was working on here on the Las Vegas Strip was show, you know, it was just shut down. Yeah. That, you know, yeah. so just nothing to do. Um, so when we did some research and we said, how can we sustain our lifestyle? 
Well, we came up with this idea to start our YouTube channel, Exploring Through Our Lens, mm -hmm. and really make it our mission. So, so what we could do is start this YouTube channel and then continue with the mission that we had for the last 10 years that we've been together to really inspire people to do more and do more things. So it just kind of fit right into what we were doing. That's wonderful. Yeah, and to add to that, being having been in the entertainment industry his whole life, you know, it was just easy for him. Mm -hmm. I had to kind of be able to get in there, which we've done for the last several years. Um, so it was just, just such a neat, easy, sure, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, so people can go to YouTube now and they can experience what you're experiencing. Oh yeah, in, in the first, in, in, we, we started our journey on March 1st mm -hmm. of 2021. Um, we had a pit stop of our journey on no, <laughs> or October, right? Like the December, end of October. The end yes. of October. Uh, when I contracted COVID, unfortunately, and spent 18 days in the hospital. Wow. So had that recovery, you know, and jumped mm -hmm. out, and we're going to get back on the road. As a matter of fact, today we put our first video back up after we've been off for three months. Yeah, because you're taking off again tomorrow, right? Tomorrow we're, we're taking off. We're going to go to Quartzsite, Arizona. Oh, I love Quartzsite. Then we're going to drive up the coast of California uh -huh. and go all the way to Seattle where we have an appearance at the Seattle RV show. Well, that'll be fun. Yes. Now, when you're making an appearance at the RV show, what are you doing there? Are you telling people about your trip? Are you we, encouraging people to buy an RV? What? Uh, well, <laughs> so, and again, it just depends. We like to educate people is the big thing. Getting out and inspiring people to get out and live their lives doesn't necessarily mean everybody's going to sell everything and buy an RV. <laughs> right. It is not for everybody. Um, but we also are connected with some great companies. So it's all about educating people and helping them, you know, find um, ways to RV more safely, yes. be able to experience more things. So that's that's what we'd be speaking about. The the title of the one lecture that we have is Enjoy the Journey, Not Just the Destination. I like it. And Patty just wrote a blog article, so there's a you could look, you know, Google it and find the oh, blog good. article. So she just wrote a blog article on it. But there's so much to see in the United States. Oh yes. You, yes. you know, and I was we, we were at a party the other mm -hmm. night and we were talking and I told you like there was this little place that nobody in the world knows called Slegman, Arizona. Have you ever been to Slegman, Arizona? Do you even know where it is or what it is? And, you know, the answer is no, you probably haven't been there. But it's one of the most famous cities in our country. Really? That is the city that inspired the movie Cars. Really? And all of the cars, are the real ones, the tow truck and the police car and all, they're all there. Oh my goodness. So go to Exploring Through Our Lens and you can see the video on that. It's yeah. it's really, really now, fun. Now, is it closer to like Sedona or closer to Phoenix or? It's closer to Phoenix. Phoenix, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. We we actually uh, drove through there on our way back from Sedona this last right. time. We left Sedona. We stopped and had lunch in Slegman because we had been there before. And then it's another uh, two hours into Las Vegas from there. Ah, ah okay. Well... So, how is your RV different from everybody else's RVs? Mm. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of cabinet space. Because <laughs> when you're packing up a whole house, and it was almost a 3,000 square foot house, and you have to put everything in, well, you sell most of it, but you have to figure out how to get things into an RV, mm -hmm. you need a lot of cabinets. <laughs> Well, I had an RV, and I didn't have a lot of cabinets, and that was one of the problems. Oh, yeah. this has cabinets all the way around, the top, the bottom, everywhere. But the big thing that we did is most larger RVs have opposing couches in, in the front. Mm -hmm. So there's a couch on this side and then right. another couch. We took one of those couches out, and we put an entire edit suite in. So we have... You can edit your videos. We edit our videos yeah. while we're driving down the road. <laughs> we also have um, a pretty cool thing. It's called a Pep Wave. And what it is, it's a wireless router 
with a booster, a special antenna on the roof. So we have internet no matter where we go in the country, we have internet. That's amazing. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're excited about what we've done and, and the abilities that we have to do as, as we're out oh, on the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, when I had my RV, one of the most exciting things about it was stopping at night at some of the different RV parks and the people that we met. Oh. Uh, I have a friend, Susan, and she plays the guitar. Mm -hmm. And we went to Albuquerque Balloon Festival. And we parked right under where the balloons were going to take off the next morning. They gave us a great space. And she would sit out there and play her guitar, and everybody would come over. And all of a sudden, you have a whole community. It, yes, it, yes. It's so easy to it, do. Because people would ask, well, what about your friends, meeting people? We have a lot of friends here in uh, Las Vegas. We have a lot of people back east. But we were probably two weeks out on the road met some incredible people. We're actually going tomorrow to meet with them. So oh. we're going to gather together and have dinners together and just hang out yes. together. It really is unbelievable the number of people we've met and everybody is so helpful. And, you know, it's come over here and let's have dinner mm -hmm. and lunch over here. And it's just a, it's, it's a cool community of people. Yes. You know, we, we were just in Sedona before, right before I, I got sick, and um, we had a campfire one night, and our next door neighbors came over, and we had this great campfire, and next thing you know, another couple comes mm -hmm. over, and another couple comes over, and all of a sudden, there's 10, 12 people around the campfire, and the next day, we were leaving, unfortunately, and everybody was asking, well, Dan, you gonna have a campfire again today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. I, I find it, that that was, my favorite part of RVing was the people that I met. I, I thought that was amazing. So where are you off to now? As, as we said, we're going to Arizona to Quartzsite, and that is going to be a just relax, have fun with friends. Um, from there, we're going to go to into California, up the coast. We're going to take two weeks to get to the Seattle mm -hmm. RV show. Mm -hmm. So just stopping at, I don't know, Palm Six Springs, Springs, Palm Springs. Uh, yeah, um, just some beautiful places. Mm -hmm. uh, Twin Pines, Torrey Pines. All the way up the coast, we're going to go up the 5 right to about San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cut over to the 101. Oh, yeah. And we're going to take the 101 up. up and the i got to tell you, the Oregon coast is it that's awesome it's beautiful. just beautiful but isn't it snowy this time of year if there's going to be no snow <laughs> in february while we're driving up there you know that do you just yeah. letting the universe know no precipitation you placed your order right <laughs> placed my order <laughs> yeah. it's really not snow. so bad when you're going up the coast they get very little snow mm. up the coastal side now, as you move get east inward. yeah um you, you you get do get a little bit of snow and uh seattle itself has a possibility of a little bit of snow but after we leave after we leave yeah. <laughs> after you leave i got it all right well so your plans for next year or to go are you going to go all the way across the united states or are you going to go up into canada and across or what so depending on the weather when we're finished in the at the seattle rv show we're either going to head straight across to the philadelphia area or we're gonna drop down a little bit and then head across. And we'll probably take two weeks to go across. Right. And then we're gonna spend a lot of time on the East Coast with family and exploring, you know, New England states and go down maybe as far as Florida. We don't um, have another booking till the Albuquerque Balloon Fest in October. Right. Oh, well, so, I'll see you at the Albuquerque Balloon Fest. Okay. And this one's the 50th, 50th anniversary. anniversary. Oh, that's right. So, uh, yeah, Make really a, a great, yeah, great thing. I have my reservation already at the hotel. Great. So, oh, great. I'll great. get to see yes. you guys. And, exactly. and again, so. you know, the two years before COVID, mm -hmm. when we were in a house and you were in our house, we, mm -hmm. we you know, we... We, we have a fairly nice lifestyle. A oh, fairly? <laughs> Excuse me. You have a very nice lifestyle. Um, and we hadn't seen all nine of our grandkids. We, we saw like three or four of them in that two-year period before. Well, in the six months since we started our being, we've seen and been able to spend at least a week with all nine of them. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So yeah. out of Seattle, we're going to go to Bend or we're hoping to go to Bend, weather mm -hmm, permitting, mm -hmm. uh, where we have two grandchildren. And from Bend, we're gonna scoot to 
Maryland, where we have two more grandchildren, and then we're going to scoot up to Pennsylvania, where we have five. Five. <laughs> five grandchildren. And then when you're up in Pennsylvania, you're going to shoot the Liberty Bell and all of those Yeah, we'll things. do all the, you know, it's, it's kind of strange because having Patty grown up in Philadelphia, all of the... Those are major tourist attractions. Yes. You know, Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell, she's the Constitution seen them. Center. Right. Yeah, the you know, right. she's already been there, done that. Right. But we're gonna do it for to give the experience yes. to our viewers. Yeah, because there's a lot um, of people that haven't been there. Right. Yes. And I wanted to do it in a different way, having been in the entertainment industry. A lot of movies were produced there. So my thought is to shoot the different things and bring somehow bring in the movies. Oh, that I think that's a there. great idea. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I actually worked there. on The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Beloved. I worked on all of those movies. So, you know, oh, I yeah. know where we shot things and I know how we shot things. Um, so, yeah, I'm. I'm I'm excited about that. Oh, I'm you should be. That sounds steak. wonderful fun. Yes. I want to go along. <laughs> yeah. Hang out. Okay, <laughs> we still have one couch left. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, you are using an electric bicycle on this trip somehow. How do you? How does that fit in? It has just been the most amazing. Do you both have one? We do. We have two of them. Um, we are, Our RV is called Explorer One. The car that we tow is Explorer 2, and our e-bikes are Explorer 3, three and, and 4. Four. So we've been looking at e-bikes for two years, even before we went RVing. Checked them all out, and we found these e-bikes, cycle power bikes, and they're just amazing. And then it allowed us to tour, like, yep. Slagman, Arizona, because we could get through, you know, if we're stopping for an hour, we could go through the whole little town. But the things that we've seen and been able to do using those bikes as we're building our stamina and being able to walk more. Yeah. You, uh, you know, we, we, were, we were in Sedona, just outside of Sedona at mm -hmm. a campground, and we decided to take a bike ride one day. Well, we got on the bikes and we're riding for about an hour on a dirt road, and we came across heaven on earth. I mean, really? there's no other way to say it other than heaven on earth. And it, it's called Alcantara. It's a, it's a winery there, but it's at the convergence of two rivers. Ooh. And the, the owners of this place have really done a great job mm -hmm. because you, you can sit there and have lunch or dinner. They do weddings. They have a great big wedding chapel. They have horseback riding. They have canoes. They have Jeep riding through the desert and through the, the vineyards. I, I got to tell you, we, we could have spent a month just at Alcantara. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. It was just beautiful, just beautiful. And it just, the bikes gave us the opportunity. We probably never would have walked over there. We never would have gone right. there. Just gave us the opportunity to explore that whole area. Just incredible place. And the bikes are pretty incredible. Uh, yeah, I want to get one myself. But, you know, uh, I wonder, older people who have knee problems uh, with a bike, <laughs> Take them without them having to really pedal a lot? or what? You know, yes. they're pedal assist. And it, it's funny because just yesterday we were on a conference call with the owner of the company, Jeff. And he just redesigned his, what do they call their Metro series, for, for people that are older and are having issues. So what they've done is they've taken that metro bike that's like the all-purpose bike to go around the city <laughs> not like to go on the sand or the beach or that kind of stuff right. but just the around the city bike and instead of having the the piece it's more like a women's bike where they call it uh -huh. a step through now oh that's good because so they have the step through and i i'll say this too when we were in sedona we met a, a gentleman that is a professional bike rider and he was in the Tour de France, I think, three times. Wow. Never won. He's a loser, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he took my bike, and he took it for a ride, and he said, you know, this thing, they just did it right. It's balanced. It's got the right amount of power. It's got the right amount of pedal assist. You don't ever have to pedal if you don't want to. You could just use the electric part of it. But like Patty says, well, I want to get exercise when yes. I'm on the bike. Well... She pedals and pedals and pedals away. When we were in Albuquerque, five miles to the festival, five miles back, twice a day. She did, we did it in the morning and we did it in the evening. So 20 miles a day. And 
by the third or fourth day, she could feel that she was <laughs> <Yeah>. pedaling. <laughs> but I could, and again, I could have used the assist more. And it was really nice. We have these bags that hook on to the bike. So we put all of our saddle equipment, bags. saddle bags, all of our equipment in there. Uh, they've just been the greatest thing. Probably the greatest thing we've bought since the I, RV. <laughs> my biggest regret right now, one of my biggest regrets in life is that I didn't do this earlier. I was too cheap to go out and get that electric <laughs> bike. And now that we have them, it has opened a whole new world. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that because I'm thinking that I'm too cheap to get it. And so I, you know, because a friend of mine has one, he's an artist and, and he lives up in the mountains in Washington state and he goes up and down the mountains in it and he loves it. And he said to me, you'll love it, get it. And I saw the price and I went, ooh, so now I hear you say that, you know, but maybe, Maybe it's not that expensive if it changes your life so much for the better. It, it's really, Absolutely. you know, and as I'm going through this recovery with double pneumonia and COVID, um, when I started getting on the bike every day mm -hmm. and the balance and the pedaling and it, it's really sped up my recovery. It, it really has sped up my recovery. So I, there is nothing I can say bad about an electric bike. Um, I, I, you know, I mean, it just, it fits right in the back of our car. You know, it, ours happens to fold in half. Oh, oh, really? So ours folds in half so we can carry it around with us everywhere we go. Uh, and, and it's got these great big four inch tires. So I'm able to take it on the beach and in the sand and in the desert. I, well, you sold me. I want one. <laughs> there, there you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want one. You know, you were talking a minute ago about you're going from here to Quartzsite. I don't think a lot of people know what Quartzsite is. You know, I only discovered Quartzsite a couple years ago because we go to Algodonas, Mexico to the dentist. Right. So we go through there. But uh, what what is Quartzsite? So people kind of get an idea. So this is the first time for me. Um, I, I don't think it's a desert. It. It's a desert. <laughs> it's, it's the desert. Well, yeah, but it's got it's a, all those crystals. Yes, it, the crystals it's a town. Are there. I mean, there's... it's a town that once a year, in January and February, mm -hmm. they have tent after tent. Tent after, after tent. They, they bill it as the world's largest crystal show. Yes. yes. So they have crystal sellers, and they bring them in, and they're there, um, and then. In the last part of February, this next week coming up. Last part of January. I'm sorry, the last part of January, mm -hmm. uh, this, this next week coming up, um, they have an RV show. So half of the, the gem people leave, yes. the RVers take over the tents, and they sell everything RV. So we're told that there's going to be over 50,000 what? RVs what? out in the desert, just all boondocking. So there's no hookups. Yes. There's a few RV parks, but those are, you know, long. Oh, uh, yeah. They've got a lot of long-term people come every winter right. for the whole right. winter. They come yeah. in there. But it's the... called the Big big Tent, tent Show. Yep. Big Tent Show. I can't even talk. Well, there's lots so of big lot, tents. Yes. Yeah. But it's one big, massive tent you can walk through, and there's RV stuff, materials, equipment. We have to get our awning fix, Our awning fix things yeah. like that that you could get there or just go buy an rv <laughs> just go buy go an buy. rv why not i think you it's know? a great place for people to see what kind of rv might be right for them oh yeah if they're thinking about it right yeah that's a good idea yeah. you know in today's times um a lot of people don't want to go to the big type events the football games and the concerts and the music festivals going out and going into the woods and by a river. Uh, you know, I, I'm just picturing that river that we were by in in Bend, Oregon. Um, I could just sit there forever. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, I mean, it, it makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel good about your family. It makes you feel good about what you're doing. Yes. It just like recharges your batteries. Yeah. And that's what it's all about for us. Yeah, that's what people want to do. When I first came home from Africa, my girlfriend and I were in uh, Kansas, and some people invited us to go down uh, canoeing down the river. And we thought, oh, this will be great. We'll go canoeing down the river. And we, we had a, a small van, and we said, well, we'll just sleep in our van. We'll go canoeing. We got down to the river, and we had to pick up that canoe and carry it down to the water. Now, nobody <laughs> told me canoes weigh. 8,000 pounds. You know? <laughs> it was heavy. It was it was like made out of tin. It wasn't like, 
I thought, you know, canoes were made out of buckskin or something, you know. And so we had to haul this thing down to the river. We got it in the water, and we had to paddle and paddle and paddle. And we we got to this place where the water was real narrow, and we got stuck. And so she said to me, get out and push. And I'm like, okay. So I get out and push, and I'm pushing, and she takes off, and I fall flat on my face, you know, in the, in the river, and have to chase after her to get back in the boat. And like, and I, I almost drowned in two feet of water. It was, it was terrible. But what a wonderful experience. I mean, we even did our hair in the van. We hooked up about nine extension cords over to the <laughs> ladies' bathroom so we could do our hair because we had to have our hair perfect at all times, you know. Yeah. So, it, yeah, I think it's a wonderful adventure you're, you're going on. I wish, I just wish I could do that with you. It'd be fun. Come well, just, visit just us. come visit us or, you know, watch us. And well, I'll come visit come, you come in along. Albuquerque. There, there you go. There you <laughs> Albuquerque right. next year is going to be spectacular. Yes. Um, this last year we were there, on day one they started sewing a balloon together, and then by day nine the balloon was done, wow. and it actually flew on the last day of the, the fiesta. So a lot of really cool things going on this year because it's the 50th anniversary. So if you're going to go, make plans to go, get your tickets, get your hotel room, get, get your RV spot. Get because October's close yes yeah, yeah it's closer are, than you think it is yeah, absolutely yeah. they're selling out and again we have a video on youtube that kind of gives people the ins and outs of some things right. how to navigate the whole thing there is a bike parking area oh, so you cool. can park for free. Your regular electric bike for free oh i yeah. should get my bike by you can now. bike in yeah. and they just lock it up for you and at the end of the day you come pick it up and take it home um also just insider's tip for the albuquerque balloon festival there is a booth and it's you got to kind of look for this booth but it's for crew to sign up to be mm -hmm, crew mm -hmm. and patty and i actually crewed on a balloon out of new hope pennsylvania and everybody that we had signed up for crew probably 25 people including miss new mexico all got to take a ride in the balloon yes so that's a so great way. you know i you know patty got her first hot air balloon ride i know you've had a few. You know, probably one of the most spectacular <laughs> hot air balloon rides there is. Yeah, I've um, had a few. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, Patty had her first ride, her second ride, not as not as nice. She, we had a crash landing, but <laughs> we, we survived. Made it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's uh, people say, "Oh, I'd be so afraid to go up in a balloon," but the truth is, it's so comfortable once you're up there oh. because the balloon moves so slowly, yeah. and when you're there. And you, you know, the only thing I could hear from up there most of the time was dogs barking. Dogs ah. barking, yeah. Yeah, it, because it's so quiet. And or you might hear the from the next balloon over, you might hear when they are firing up their engines right. and that sort of thing. But uh, Lewin Williams lives here in town, and he's been doing the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. He's a pilot, balloon pilot. He's been doing it for about 27, 28 years. Wow. wow. And uh, I went down and crewed for him a few times which was super fun you yeah. know to be on to be on a crew is fun because you meet different people than you would normally ever yep. meet and you have to be down there at four o'clock in the morning yep. when they're starting to put those balloons together and get up but it's exciting it oh, really it, it is, is. It, it's a it's an absolute bucket list item must do and Absolutely. a photographer's dream oh my god it, oh. i i shot so much video and so many stills it's just incredible yeah it's just incredible and they have a they have a contest every year for the artist who designs the best poster you know it, it, it's funny that you say that because the one of the co-owners of the balloon that we actually crewed on uh linda used to work for the balloon and she did all the balloon fiesta artwork and she oh. came up with that program of the contest oh, for the really? best poster she came oh, up wow. with the program that's amazing so yeah it, it you know, great people, great fun, everybody, you know, it's it's the only balloon festival, and they call it Fiesta, mm -hmm. that they let everybody out onto the field. Yes. So every other one that I've been a part of, you know, you had to stay behind the fence. Well, it's great because the kids can come out to the balloon, and, you know, I just love taking the kids and putting them in the basket mm -hmm. and taking a picture. It, it was... Um, 
it, it, so it, cool. it's just like nothing else. So if you have one thing that you're going to do this year, it's going to be in the first week of October in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, I really want to thank you both for being here because this has been fun. I already feel like you're on your trip. You're going, you're exploring, <laughs> and we're exploring with you. And, you know, send us some videos so we can keep up with you during the year. Yes. That would be that fun would be for great. us to tell our, our viewers, look where Patty and Dan are this week. You know? <laughs> so... We'll do we'll do little stops and little pops yeah, for you. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be great. great. That'd be absolutely wonderful. So thank you, thank you for thank being you here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having Fun. us. Really. And thank you for joining us once again. And I hope that you'll come back. We have other great guests for you next week.